Good morning, friends. My name is Ibumocho. It's a very difficult name. So whenever my friends from outside Manipur ask, do you have a good name? So I said, I don't have a good name because it's very difficult to pronounce. And I find a lot of uh, Naga names also very difficult to pronounce. You have uh, difficult names. First, thank you for uh, inviting me. My resume or my little write-up, I think it is uh, much more than what I am. I have been a journalist in Manipur while after I finished my university. That was uh, around 1986 or so. I am not that old, but I am just across the 62 years of age. 62. I am here in uh, Nagaland for uh, a project. I am writing a biography of one very senior Naga leader from Nagaland. And in the process, I have also been assigned a little bit of a documentation on the Naga movement after 1975. So I've been traveling uh, in and out in the remote areas of Nagaland since the post-COVID. In fact, my project was supposed to start before COVID. All of a sudden, two years of gap. And technically, I'm now based in Chumun. I have rented a small place because coming and staying in Dimapur is very expensive. And now I'm retired. We have a subject called communication management. And every time today, since I'm from Manipur, people ask me, I'm a Maitai. You know who a Maitai is? I hope. Maitai, Janemaki, Maitai. Maitai is a community from Manipur. I'm a Maitai. So I was invited by the Indian Institute of Mass Communication to talk on the present conflict. And I said, I will not. I will not talk on that conflict. Because I'm a Maitai. I'm a part of the war. You understand? I am a part of that very battle that is happening in Manipur because I'm a Maitai and the conflict is between the Maitai and the Koki. So when I speak as a Maitai, when I speak, they will always look at me not as a speaker but as a Maitai first, isn't it? Am I right or wrong? If there is a conflict between two tribes in Nagaland, I will not say any tribe, but if there is a conflict between A and B, and if you belong to that B and when you speak, when you say anything, you will people will look at you not as an individual. First, they will look at you as that A or B. So today, when I speak about the conflict in Manipur, first they will think that I'm a Maitai, so my opinions will be biased. <clears throat> I had a tough time yesterday when uh, Mr. Loyumba asked me to share some thoughts on the present conflict first before uh, I begin my little uh, sharing with you about perception management. Uh, he said, please speak something about the present conflict. I said, I would like to say, but you already have that not notion that I'm a Maitai and whenever I speak, so will you be able to see me first as a speaker or from that community? That is very important as a young student. So around 8.30 yesterday at night, I was practicing for half an hour in front of my mirror. Moi Allah, the students come, they go because you are a very educated person, social media is there. And ultimately, I called up my professor a very old professor, one of my teachers, uh, he is retired and now he is in Pune. After all though, I am 62 years old and I said I have a very difficult task tomorrow at Texo College and I will be sharing my thoughts. I had to refer to my professor who is now 83 years old. I had to, to take his permission because of that wisdom. Is that difficult? And then around 9.30, my daughter called me, said she was less bothered about what I'm going to speak. My daughter said, Dad, what are you going to wear? 
I will wear. I said, uh, a pair of jeans. And to wear it. no, Pala say, I got a new pair of uh, t-shirts. I said, don't do that mistake. Uh, dress up properly because uh, Naga boys and girls are very well dressed. So I had to think of a very new dress again last night. So I had put my dress for this lecture. And I have to wear this. Because what you look at is also important. I don't know whether I'm presentable look-wise or what I'm going to say. My professor told me, you should first begin with Edward D. Bono's process of thinking. That is why I just requested for this uh, board. We will have a very simple uh, illustration. Okay, I'll just use this. Uh, can Google and find later. And if at all, if your library has his books, don't read. <laughs> Why? Because you don't understand his writings. There are many people who buy this, his books. <clears throat> Show up for you, like, oh, I'm reading B. Bono's book. Anyone who reads his book, he will never understand. <laughs> So when I was working in Mumbai, every young boy, every young business management can train, tear, bus, tear, some kitab, nikhavadena, I'm reading the Bono's book. No? But I tell you, don't read his books because you can't understand, unless somebody explains. Very luckily, I had some professors who explained his concepts. Uh, there is a saying in English, in Hindi, in Manipuri, in any language, Abni uh, think straight. Hindi me bolega sida socho. In your own language, you will also be saying think straight, is it? In Manipuri, you said chumna color. Think straight. So this fellow says, as long as you think straight, you are an idiot. So he's a crazy fellow. So don't read. Anyone who thinks straight, you will not find any solution. And you will never progress. So he gave us one example, and it is called that right thinking. Come, come, come. You hold this. I mean, 
Come, you also come. There, there will be one girl. You hold this. Just stand up. Just stand up. Just hold like this. Okay. Hold like this. Just presume that she is holding a piece of wood. Like a dry piece of wood. He is also holding a dry piece of wood. He is also holding a dry piece of wood. You understand? Yes. We, they all are holding a piece of dry wood. Dry, D-R-Y. But heavy, whatever it is, it's a piece of dry wood. Now, if I say, let it. Chori me. Now I say one, two, three, and just live it. Don't leave because my pen will break, okay? <laughs> now, imagine I say one, two, three, and they live it. You go back to your seats. standing on the earth. 
So because of the g-force, it will go down. This fellow is in the space where there is no gravitational force. So it will float. If you had asked me, sir, where are these three people standing? I would say this man is inside water, so you would conclude this wood will go up. If this is on the earth, this will go down. If this is in the space, it will remain. The ego now says, don't be an idiot. You should ask. Well, read, 
after this Maitai, Maitai and his Uki flash started, he became very popular overnight. And his YouTube channels, you know, there are how many viewers? Lacks and lacks. Ultimately, I saw all his interviews as a citizen, as a journalist, after listening to his interviews, he created more problem than solving the problem. He is interviewing two people and making them fight. He is asking one cookie, Kinika Ase. So he will throw all the venom. He is asking one mighty, he will throw all the venom. And those young boys who are not away, they are still fighting now. So I call that fellow a donkey. Though he is a rich man, he is a journalist, I still would call him a donkey because he is not a good human being. He is making other people fight. Suppose if there is a fight between Andami, Sumi, or Kiki, you know, if you are fighting, you ask one Sumi, if he is fighting with an Andami, you ask some Sumi, he will say something against the Andami. And you ask one Andami, he will say something against the Sumi. If you say something, if you ask one Ao or some Chaka Sang, if they are fighting, you know, children, they will come to know all the dirts of what happened in the past. Am I doing good as a journalist? Yes or no? As a writer. They are very quiet. So, if you are from that mass communication, if you are from that person who is going to give information to people, you should think thousand times with that information you are sharing, you are part of that problem solving, you are part of that problem creator. So when there is a crisis, when there is a conflict, it is the responsibility of those who are handling well. Today there is no journalist. Anyone who has a smartphone is the best journalist today. It will work it will lie on your bed. And that has so much of negative impacts. And today I have moved out from all the WhatsApp groups. Because when I wake up, What's a good day? So many bad things being forwarded. So I cannot start my day. I cannot even have my cup of tea. Breakfast, how will in one night? If they are married, if they are married, if they are married, why should I spoil them? So, so do you want to be an idiot? No, no. So you should ask questions for them. paper with you? I said again. Do you have? Do you have a pen and paper with you? Any notebook? No. Okay. I'll tell you a story in five minutes. Okay. Just think in your mind. <clears throat> I have been traveling in Nagaland almost three years. All the roads are bad. All the roads are bad. And the roads in Manipur are worse. There are some good roads in Nagaland, but all the roads are bad in Nagaland and worse in Manipur and worse in Mizoram. Arunachal to Olam Palas. Jindrabi Olam Palas. I checked out the budgetary provision of the road development from the Union government last year. I will not tell you how many crores of rupees have been sanctioned in Manipur, Nagaland for the road construction. Okay. Do you have a tap in your house that you get drinking water? Do you have drinking water in your house which comes through a tap? No. Okay. In Manipur also, no. But since 1956 and 65, the government had already made plans to deliver drinking water at every single house and money has been coming for that. Because the most important in every household is drinking water. Every hospital is supposed to give free medicine. 
when we were children, when the doctor used to write medicine, we go to the hospital and we used to get free medicine. I remember. Not today. But the money still goes from the government. Ekta medicine we know that. You know why? Because our forefathers, our politicians, so called our educated all officers, you know, they think like we are idiots and they take all the money. That is a worst thing. I used to go up and down from Imphal to Dimapur, just near Jubza. Near Jubza, there is a there is a pipe. Water is coming from the hilltop. And there are about 400 uh, small carriers, thousand laga, and they fill the water and they supply to Kohima. 1,000 rupees per, no, 1,000 rupees for, I think 1,000 liters. And everybody has to buy. But you know, But there is abundant water. What has given us enough of them. We have destroyed it. Everything. Now, not a single young person today in Manipur is asking why is our road bad? Why are we not getting free medicine in our hospital? Because we all have become idiots because of that system that we continue. So, do you want to belong to that generation or you want to make a change? And this change is to be initiated by those students, young people, who have <coughs> taken up that subject called mass communication. Because these are the people who will have to communicate to the people that these are your rights, these are something that you should get. Rather than, if you look at, there are five newspapers, I read everything. Magellan Post, Modern Express, Frontier. There is not a single column where the grievances of the people are reflected in that newspaper. These are also there's a mass communication. Mix. Mix. Anyway, whatever it is, whether it is the social media or anything, I am in some youth groups of Magellan my WhatsApp group. Until today, I am really sad that not a single boy or a girl in that WhatsApp group, they have not reflected the grievances of the state. Everyone thinks that, you know, if I have a smartphone, I'm going to export as it all. Everything they will flash. But not a single grievance of the state or the people is highlighted. Bad news, you know, there is a saying, bad news travels fast. Bad news travels fast. And good news, never. If it is a scandal, it will go viral, isn't it? If it is a scandal, it will go viral. Make those grievances of the state a scandal and a bad news, so it travels. And at, at least, your sir, you will listen, isn't it? Or ministers will listen. Or even the church will listen. If at all, what basically is the news? You know, one person from Manipur came. Uh, his name is Nimo Chopi. And he shared his thoughts and he shared his experience as a journalist. That is news, isn't it? But what will you learn from news? News to Kia, sir. News means something that you see, something that you hear. First of all, before script was written or anything, news means you will pass down by word from village to village, it will go. That is a news. Then later on, people started writing and people will read. Then television came, you can see and then hear both. 
today, when you get up, you have a smartphone at home. You see everything that is happening. If you are an educated person, whatever you say, whatever you speak, you should have some value. It should have an impact for a change. When I came from Imphal this time, I bought a, you know what is a fanic that the girls wear in among the maintains and one cloth that covered the top. From December to January, it was a merry season in Nagaland. My Iman in the Simpai said, I went and that was complete butcher of butchering. No? You butcher, you know, my kind of thing. The many ceremonies in Nagaland is a complete butchering of your own indigenous culture. So I had a, I have a friend in uh, June. We had a long discussion, and this gentleman, he says, I have two sons when I get married, I will not have that decoration. One decoration costs about five lakhs for a rich person. I don't know whether you or not. And for a mediocre, for a medium decoration, it costs about two lakhs. And he says, I would rather give it to my daughter. Because you want this decoration or you carry this five lakhs. His daughter said, Daddy, I like five lakhs rather than the decoration. You see, why is so stupid? Because the father is going to spend five lakhs on decoration. The daughter says, I would like that in cash. And now, Marius is when you show your culture. Marius is when you show your belonging. So this family has decided, I will not name the tribe, this family, this family has decided that when his sons and daughters get married, they will wear the traditional dress. The father is saying that when, I, when my daughter gets married, she will be buying a gown which is above one line. And it is only one time use. So will all the girls wear that one night gown or you will dress which you will continue to wear? This is a decision that young people will have to initiate. I am not forcing you. Now she is smiling, you know, when it goes, she will say, Dada, I'm you know, she will tell her mother, no, I want the best gown which will cost you like. And there are only once in a lifetime. I go on up. She will never say that give me the dress, traditional dress, designer, I will wear that and I get married and I will use that all my life. This is precisely when our education is somewhere going faulty because our mass communication is going somewhere else. You have a right to disagree with me. You have a right to disagree with me. But Unfortunately, in my resume, you will see that I am also one of the members of the indigenous people of the Northeast. Is it there in my resume? Two years ago, there was an election in Difubar. We have a forum called Northeast Indigenous People's Forum. And in Difubar, I got elected as a Secretary General of the Northeast Indigenous People's Forum. My first duty became in our cultural dresses, the design, the motifs, how to preserve, how to give a pattern. And I realized this in all the states, we are not maintaining our indigenous form of dresses or whatever it is. Mass communication does not mean you use your smartphone, you write up good writings in the newspaper. Mass communication also would mean that young generation like you should be able to preserve, conserve your pristine form of your own culture. I think half will agree and half will not agree in this forum. Okay? I know. But my duty as a communication in charge, who is 62 years old, and plus seeing the changes, my son is in class 9. My son is in class 9. During COVID, there's nothing to do. 
So my brother bought it at Yadu. Because you have to keep yourself in Dubai. And luckily he learned it here. And he is singing Western songs. Whether he sings or not, he is trying everything. Then my mother, post COVID, says, there's only one boy in my family. You know, there are 18 girls in my family. 18 girls in my family. My brother has daughters. My another brother has daughters. My cousin has daughters. All my family, there's only one boy in my family. Only my son. The most irresponsible boy. <laughs> so, his grandmother said to me, son, you tell your son to learn some folk music. And my son was saying, hey, Dani, Dani, what is folk music? So, after the post of it, he, I sent him to one lady. You just Google and find Manka. How is that? This is her name. This lady is an icon in Manipur. And she's a very famous folk singer in Manipur. So I sent my son to her school. And now in his class, without just with just 10% of the folk music, he's a hero in his school. Because he's the only person who learns, you know, that traditional song. And he's very proud. Right? He sings only 10% of our folk song, but he's a hero because the rest of them they sing modern songs. So I told my son that you learn your tradition. At least when you are now a hero in your class. He's the only known person who can play Pema and sing our folk song. Your mass communication, as I personally feel today, if I have another opportunity, I will come back. I personally feel, besides the subject that I was inclined, my professor told me last night that do not teach anything which is in your syllabus. Because you will be learning in that syllabus of mass communication. Share your thoughts as a person who has been traveling in the Northeastern region, which will have some impact on the young minds. Go home, ask your parents, when I get married, will I get married in a western dress or in my own traditional dress? Guys, of course, you have no choice, you have to wear a suit because... Remember. But ladies, you have a choice. But guys also, you have a chance to reflect your own community with some design. If today, if I have communicated to you in my just 40 minutes of sharing, that will be one impact of mass communication. So, you have a WhatsApp group? Now, next December, coming December, January is a marriage season. You start a group and say that we promote, or rather we are for the preservation and conservation of our own ethnic and traditional and indigenous way of life, which we cannot do in our daily-to-day lives. Like you come to college, you have to wear this dress. There is only one occasion when you can. That is when you are born, when, you, when somebody goes to the burial, then you go to marriage. When you go to marriage, these are the places where you show your identity. Am I right or am I, am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? You have only one occasion where you want to show your tradition, and that is when the marriage happens. Because there will be hundreds of people. Mass communication would mean it should not be only for informing, but it should be able to change somebody's mind. I see the five minutes.
there is something wrong in the government, when there is something wrong in the system, it is first because our leaders somehow for the last phase, they feel during the time of election they will spend some money and they will win election. But who are the losers? You don't have roads? Why is Tetro College becoming one of the most popular colleges in the market? Tell me. I googled and found out that your college is one of the most popular colleges in the market. Because of the structure, because of smart teachers, and the students are smart. And where would the parent would like to send? Smart environment. And this is the duty of the government. And they have spent crores of rupees in building colleges and schools. I don't know where they have spent. I went for the secondary festival day before yesterday, the Mapur Stadium. I think I came about 10 years ago in the same stadium. This, this is like that. Why? Because our line of thinking, as Edward de Bono would say, that we have been thinking straight. You please do not, you please do not think straight, ask questions. Once you go out, every single system where there is faulty. You should be putting up in your WhatsApp group. And we need mass communication. And systematically, if you are educated, if you want a message to reach to the Chief Minister of Manipur, how would you send? If something is wrong here, at least he doesn't know. If you want him to know, or the governor, how would you say? First, write a letter directly. You have to write a letter because social media, I don't think people will inform him that there was something like this. You have to write a letter. Why writing letters, sending to a person is very important. That is why, in the process of communication, information, you should be able to get What is most important is you should be able to get the facts of either the life. And this is where only education, where educated person will be able to get from social media or any kind of source. You can Google that. When I asked this to one of the engineers, he told me or minister that there is one gentleman and his group, they are going to talk about this openly. Then they deliberately bought new wires and they changed at least. And there was no accident. This was inspired by one person, the new fighter. Just write in your hand or in a piece of paper how will your society progress, how will your state progress, how will your community progress. This is the role of mass communication which every single citizen should have within his own capacity rather than going to YouTube for five hours. I, I bought a handset for my son. He is now in class 9. My mother is complaining that you are spoiling your son because you bought a mobile for your son. He is spending about 3 to 4 hours every day on the mobile. So 
So I never bit my son because he's taller than me. <laughs> he's almost six foot now. Very handy. So I tell my wife, you bit your son. If, if he's handling your, if, if he's always on the mobile. And very surprisingly, I never can fire my son. I never can, I never can't trust my son. But my wife can. I do not know why. And he never gets angry. If the mother bits him, he never gets angry. But if I do, he will not speak to me for one week. I don't know why. Does it happen to your family? Yes. Yes, no. <laughs> if I scold my son, he will be in a mood for three, four days. And I gave him one trash. He will not speak to me for one week. But my wife can beat him every day. He can scold him every day. But he still, you know, and he changes. I think this is the power of women. Am I right or wrong? Socrates said you educate a woman how the problem is solved in the world. All educated men, they will be educated, but they have no responsibility. And sometimes I feel young girls initiating mass communication today. If you look at all the journalists today, I think there are many, many young ladies who are vociferous in their own manner, in their own style. I think guys don't get angry after I leave her because I am praising the girls. This is also one power. When we hear something, the first thing, when you read a newspaper, when you hear the news item, the first thing is you get information. There was an accident. Hospital day in Nikau, we said there was one patient he died. For whatever it is, you just open the newspaper today when you go back to the table. When you go back on that lobby, there are many newspapers. Just look at the news item of all the newspapers. As a habit, for one week, when you come to the lobby, I just saw all the newspapers are there. Just look at it and just see if any information is of any value to you. Because I read newspapers, I read newspapers every day in Yufa. I receive about seven newspapers in the morning at my home. I read all the newspapers because I need to be informed. As a journalist, I feel very sad because everything I read in the morning, it has no value. That is a trend that is happening in modern mass communication today. In the front page, you look at Morning Express, you look at Nagaland Post, just look at it. Is there anything which is worthy? I think there is none. Why? Because our young journalists today have gone to a recent trend of what our politicians or what our lawmakers are doing. If at all you have a smartphone, if you have your watch up groups, I think we should learn how at least to change to inform. Can you Google and find out when you go home how much money has been spent by the government of Nagaland in water resources? What is the level of our road condition in Nagaland? If you can send it out in your WhatsApp groups, at least our elders will hear. That is why mass communication today is becoming very important to influence people. The only tragedy is all the professionals now in India or worldwide, 
all the information technology is being given out to wrongly inform us. Let me give you one more example. I was very sad when I went to Delhi to meet my old colleagues of journalists. When the monkey might take whatsoever that last started, they were IT professionals. They were social media professionals. They were charging money to build websites, to build contents to fight. Can you imagine? Because they were paid. They were IT professionals, media professionals, hired by community to send out the wrong information so that we continue to fight. If I'm a Maitai, I hire some IT people from the rest of the world to give news to them. And that will also send news, wrong information. And we keep fighting. And this is a trend of the modern youth. They are paid and they can sell their soul because they are paid. And that is a kind of a recent trend that is happening. When the elections begin, last election they hired me for a political party. They were willing to pay any amount and do their publicity. I like the money, but I refused that job because I was not happy. Because you'll be telling a lot of wrong things to the people. I did not do it, but some people did it. Because they wanted that money. It is you to decide whether you want to do bad things for wrong information to continue or not to. My basic observation today to conclude for the mass communication today would be as you grow up, as you graduate, as you do your post-graduation, you handle mass communication to communicate to people, at least to inform people for a change, whether it is culture, whether it is education, or whether it is your own society or even the government process, that is not happening. From start from now and see what is supposed to happen in Nagaland. And it, it has not happened. And you all are very educated people. Once you go, you will see what is not happening. And that is something that we have to consciously build. We have to consciously work where our society, our government, or those people who are at the helm of power should know that young people are thinking and they should know where to push from. Not just to blindly follow. Or a drugstore. Anyone around you see drug users around this area? Drug? There are people who are trying to sell this item to the students. When I was in Delhi University as a young student, drugs came to my room in Boston. Can you imagine? I was in a hostel. In our hostel, the drugs would reach our hostel. Because if they once catch two, three customers, and the market is open. Some of us, we became users and they were pushed through. This is the worst fight that your generation will continue. In Manipur, every household of my age has a drug user. Any community, any locality. Molela Bosti there, of my age group, one family is affected because of this drug. Because those people who are selling it, they got huge profit and they have no moral. They have no moral. I get very conscious because some of my relatives also died very young. When I see this, you know, when I finish my class 10, we are the mediocre. You know, when you finish your class 10, we are just one of those 60%. You get 60%. Class 12, we get little 16. And in my own village, there were friends who had 
90%, both in class 10 and in class 12, many of them died because of this. And many educated people who would have been wonderful people, they died because of drugs. And today, in Dimapur, I see no church, I see no youth community. You know, when there are some events happening in Nagaland, the youths are very active for good reason. But they do not unite something for a cause which they see as the most dangerous thing. That is a sad part of our society today. I am not asking for immediate justice, you know, those who are selling bit tape or whatever it is. But as a community, we are not there to defend. And that, this thing is coming. That is why we always will have to go back to the basic concept of mass communication, where you should be able to reach out to people with your own thoughts. First lesson that I think you should know is you should never think straight. Always ask questions. The moment a youth stops asking questions, that is the first step to failure for the communication. Please ask questions within yourself. You are a youth as long as you ask questions, whether you are 60 years old, 70 years old. You keep asking questions and have a little bit of inquisitive nature within you. Otherwise, the whole system of getting educated becomes the worst enemy of our social structure. This is precisely what we have seen in many of the societies in the northeastern region. We are influenced by the West. We are influenced by other things. At the same time, I think it is very important because uh, I, have been, I have been coming to Hornville, Hornville for almost five, six years. To, to, to witness that becomes a museum. Museum is something that you keep in a room and go and see. So I was telling some of my friends that your home festival is a museum. Manukan, I think that museum Samurai Erika is a zoo. People think that you know people are coming to see the zoo because it is confined. I think the objective of the elders of Nagaland was to have whole view so that young guys get the idea of what our ancestral values are and imbibe those philosophies and retain it. Not for such visual impacts. I should end here. Thank you so much. I do not know in the process of uh, trying to say something that which I have, I might have offended you. Calling you idiots? Not me, but that fellow said. <laughs> that fellow said. Anyway, thank you so much. I would love to be here. Uh, I am currently here because uh, I am writing a book on the Nagat movement up to 1975. And I am interviewing 360 people who are about 80 for the for the book, because I am not going by any record, but I am going to write that book based on their memory, what exactly they saw, and what they have seen in the entire book. I am not referring to any book, though I am also reading book. And very fortunately, uh, I am writing the biography of Sir S. C. Uh, there were many applicants who wanted to write his biography. I've been trying almost for five years. Luckily, in the lottery, I won. So my name came up. So I'm writing this biography. The deadline is beginning of 2026. So I keep on interacting with him. And now he has given three days. Today at 4 o'clock, tomorrow, and the other tomorrow. So I will sit with him for two hours and listen to his conversation. Then I write. And he's a wonderful man. As he told me, though many, he says, son, you know, many people don't like me. He says, but I said, sir, if you are a leader, people have a right to like you or not to like you. But I think from Nagalim, on all leader, I think to be a governor of five, six states from Nagalim, nothing has happened in the Northeast. From Manipur, there's no governor. Manipur, there's no governor. 
from Assam just there has been put Nagaland. The country has recognized him as a statesman, as a leader, and he became a governor of so many states. Also Gujarat. Can you imagine being the governor of Gujarat? Orissa, Maharashtra. So he was the governor. So I am lucky. I hope during my tenure as a research in Nagaland, maybe I will get some opportunity to share some of his thoughts with him. I am still learning from him. And last two years has been a learning process of the Nagaland culture. And what was the thought or what was the idea in the late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and what had changed today? So I will try my best to reflect that particular age of 1950s and 60s in my research work. So that is what presently I am doing. I, I am reading now, I am studying, and I need to study also because I am in a different I am in a different society, and I would not like to reflect something that would be wrong. Because when you write a book, I don't want some errors to happen. So I am also working hard. In that process, I would also need your help as a respondent.